Joining me right now is Air Force veteran, Purple Heart recipient, and the creator of the We the People Will Build the Wall GoFundMe page, Brian Colfage. Brian, it's great to have you on the program this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Well, well, you've had incredible success in terms of raising money for this wall. Before we get to the details, what did you think of the president's address last night? Well, I think he's standing firm and standing strong on what the American people want. We've been begging him and asking him for this. Uh, the people want border, border security. The people want immigration. And he's representing the people, and that's why we elected him, to get the job done. We're sick of waiting decades to get this stuff done, and it's, the time has come. It's time to get this done. Why do you think the Democrats don't see it that way? Well, they're playing games. They, they want to have illegal aliens in this country so they can control the people. They want to control the votes. They want to control things. It's all a political agenda. They're not listening to, con to, their, to their constituents. They're not listening to what the people want. And they're just playing games. They don't want Trump to have the win, and that's, that's what it's all about. They don't want him to win. They want, they're completely against him, and that's all it is. And they're not representing the people. So you took matters into your own hands. You started a GoFundMe page to help fund the Mexican border wall. How much money have yes. you raised right now? What kind of a re reaction or reception have you gotten? Well, we're up to close to $20 million. And, you know, we're rolling out a plan coming maybe tomorrow or Friday that that $20 million is going to seem like a drop in the bucket when we go live with what we're going. And, uh, you know, I've spoke with the Angel families, uh, Steve Ronenbach, Marianne Mendoza, and it's ridiculous for the Democrats to say that border security is immoral. I dare them to look those families in the face who lost a family member to an illegal alien and tell them that it's immoral. That's not what this country is about. We need to start protecting the American people. And this wall, this wall GoFundMe, has brought Americans together. And that's what we're doing. We're bringing Americans together to get this wall done. One way or another, we're getting it done. Whether Democrats like it yeah, or not, we, we're going to get it done. We, we know that many of them actually voted for a wall in the past. So it's yeah. sort of it loses credibility about the immoral comment, because we've got 600 uh, miles of already a, a fence in place or a wall in place on the southern border. Yeah, I mean, that's right. I mean, we, uh, walls are proven to work. Look at Israel's wall first. For instance, and it's lowered their immigration or illegal crossings by 99 percent. It's a proven fact. We need to have a wall. We need our border security. We need to protect Americans. And it's, it's as simple as that. We can, we're a nation built on legal immigration. We need the people to use the front door. And yeah, there, there's some shortcomings with our immigration system, and that needs to be fixed too. But Democrats and Republicans need to come together to work together on this to get this passed. This is about our country. So it's not about playing games. What are you going to do with the money that you've raised if you don't raise the money that's actually needed? I mean, what, what happens uh, sort of when you, when you get to a number and it's not enough, what do you do with the money? You know, I wish I could be more straight with you right now, but we're going to build the wall. And in a, a day or two, when we come out with our plan, it'll all make sense. And, we, you know, we need everyone to go to WeFundTheWall.com. We're getting our message out there. We need people to sign the petition. And... What we're going to do is something that hasn't been done in our country of coming together on something since about World War II when Americans all came together. We're going to all come together and get this wall built. Have you spoken to the president about your plans? Uh, I haven't spoken directly to the president. I've spoken with uh, members of his, you know, in, in the White House and other people who are, you know, in, in politics. And we haven't gone over a full plan with them, but what we're doing is going to be you know, probably the biggest thing that's been done in our generations to come together. Yeah. We, we the people, are coming together. And uh, just everyone has to have to wait and stay tuned for what we're doing because it's coming out. We're just waiting on the lawyers to roll out the plan. And yeah. it's going to be big. But the stakes are high. This partial government shutdown has furloughed nearly 400,000 federal workers. Some people have the number even higher. J.P. Morgan yeah. Chase CEO Jamie Dimon is having his bank help customers who are sidelined by this shutdown. Some federal workers have turned to GoFundMe for help paying their bills. What about that, right. Brian? You know, I think, you know, the GoFundMe platform is great. It helps people. But, you know, this, this is a very critical time in our nation's history. Um, we need to have a little, if we have to have a little sacrifice to overcome this, you know, the financial hardship, you know, I've given my limbs for this nation. There's so many other people who have died for these freedoms and died for this nation. I think a little financial hardship can go a long way if we just stick it out. There's going to be companies and corporations who are going to help the people if they're having issues. And 
we just got to keep true to ourselves and keep true to this border wall and border protection because I, I fear for my children and my grandchildren's safety in the future if we don't know, if we do not get this done. We've been promised it for decades. Right. Brian, thank you for your service to our great country. We will be watching your efforts and your GoFundMe page for building that wall. Thanks very much. We look forward to your specific plans that you'll release later this week. Thank you, Brian. All right. Thank you for having me.